Hello, this is John. Um, first, before this video gets too far, and I want to say that yes, this is a voiceover. Um, for some reason, I lost the audio for this. <clears throat> but getting, going on, anyway, didn't want to lose the, the actual video. I don't have more of this stuff to make, so we're just going to do with it what we have. This uh, video is going to be about a, a bowl of ramen called Chapaguri which uh, is a combination of chapagetti and nuraguri which are both uh, products of Nongshim uh, company you can see me pulling up the label right there um, Nongshim they're of Korea I believe and nuraguri is a spicy seafood and chapagetti is like a black bean spaghetti sauce I'm not very sure uh, about what all is in it besides that um, but anyway it became kind of famous to mix the two together uh, to create chapaguri um, in fact if you watch the movie Parasite they actually have um, one of the characters make it in there in this video however I'm going to be making two two bowls of it um, the one that I'm holding now in my hands this is the uh, American version so it was made here in the United States under Nongshim uh, America, Nongshim US, and the other one was made in Korea and then uh, shipped over. It is uh, an import version. Uh, you can see in this the American version, you have two packets of, of powdered mix. Um, each one is actually labeled either chapaguri or nurag chapagetti or nuraguri. So I think for the American version, they just took what they already had for the two production lines um, and threw in one packet of each for the product. There's the Nuraguri. Well, actually, that just says, it says Chapaguri, but that packet says Nuraguri. So they actually did make um, a new package, new packaging for that. Uh... Anyway, I wish I could. Eat, I wish there was even some type of audio here so I could remember what I was saying. I'm trying to cover everything, but it's going to kind of be uh, impossible to really remember every single word I said here. Um, I'm probably. I don't know. I I don't. I've had chapagetti and I've had nuraguri, but I've never actually mixed them together myself. So this was the first time I ever had the mixture. Okay, I'm talking about the instructions here. In the, the American version, it has one thing only. It says microwave only. There's no other instructions. You have to microwave it. Fill it up, put both sauce, sauce, sauce mixes in, and microwave for five minutes and 30 seconds. So that's what I did for this one. Um, I even measured out the 280 milliliters, even though there's a line it came to like right below the line um, so inside of here there's like little ca carrot pieces little cabbage pieces and then uh, those other those large green pieces are seaweed um, the uh, the color was a like just like a dark brownish red which is what you'd expect from one mix that's red and one mix that's dark brown uh, one of the one of the uh, instance was is like a soup, and you you keep water in it. The other one usually you get rid of most of the water. So this one was it had some water in it, but it was uh, less water than typical, I would say. Um, I think here I'm trying to show the little bits of cabbage and seaweed and carrots that are in there. Um, there might have been some type of like textured soy proteins yeah I think that's what that, this little bit is, is a textured soy protein um, I'm reading the label here to see what uh, the ingredients are I don't have the bowl anymore so even in this voiceover I couldn't tell you what I was reading here but uh, I do remember there was textured soy protein there was seaweed there was cabbage there was carrots uh, the two different flavor packets one from head uh, sea, seafood flavors in it, fish and 
shrimp and that kind of stuff. And the other one had like a black bean, fermented black bean. Also, while I am doing this voiceover, I am actually eating a bowl of ramen. So I'm trying to get into the same mindset as I was then. Um, I'm eating a bowl of... Uh, yeah, this is actually no shim. This is shin black with kimchi and tofu in it. I've done a review for this one already. You can see it on my channel. Let me get a bite of my noodles I'm eating right now. All right, so then I move over to the Korean version. And you can see on the package, it's just automatic. Already looks more cool. It has the little raccoon guy on the front. With his eyes on fire. It's so spicy. The packaging for this one was a little bit different. It was a little bit wider, a little bit shorter. The top also had three holes to poke out so you could empty water out of it. So this one ended up being more saucy and less watery. This one also had uh, different heating instructions. Whereas the US one said microwave only, this one also had the pour over method. So that's what I did for this one. Um, just to be a little bit different and because that's the way I prefer to, to make my instant ramen is just do the hot water poured over the top method. Ooh. And also the the sauce packet for this one was just one large pack, which I assume had the uh, chapagetti and the niragiri spices just mixed in it. And you can see a lot less water in there. This one also had some carrots. Uh, it also had some cabbage and seaweed. The seaweed was a little bit thicker in this one. Um, but one thing this one had, the other one didn't. Um, hopefully, I'm, pr I'm pr pretty sure I showed one. Either already or going to. They have these little fish cakes. that are in the shape of uh, the little raccoon guy's face. And I know it's not a raccoon. Uh, just for the life of me. Oh, there's the packaging. It's just one packet. Um, oh, and they had like this little red oil packet too as well. I think oil packets are very uh, underrated. You don't really see them in U.S. made instance. But uh, it's definitely something that should be in more. It has a little unctuousness. Different type of flavor. But anyway, anyway, what was I saying? The uh, the fish cakes. The fish cakes. Do you remember Super Mario Three and the the suit that he got that he could turn into a statue? That's the same animal, and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Maybe Google will know. Super Mario 3 Suits. Tanuki. There we go. It's a Tanuki. Um, the Tanuki, I believe, is a real animal. A Japanese raccoon dog. A mammal native to Japan. Hmm. There's also a, a Bake Tanuki, which is a type of spirit that appears in the form of the mammal. Yeah, it looks like a, a larger raccoon that kind of walks around like a dog. 
or at least in this picture that I'm looking at, that looks like standing on all fours like a dog. Um, so back to the ramen in question, now that we know that those little fish cakes look like tanukis. Um, they were good. They had a little fishiness to them. And uh, a good texture to them. I believe that uh, I just smelled them in the video. I think they both smelled pretty much the same. Um, the flavors were, were the place where it was different. The, uh, the smell, I think it was probably also because I had both of them just sitting in front of me that it was kind of hard to differentiate the smell between each one. Um, so now I'm going to be tasting the other one. You can tell just by looking at it, like the color is better. Oh, also, the, uh, I'm glad I'm remembering things as I'm, as I'm talking through them. The noodles in the Korean one were just so much better. The the American ones were the like cheap, flaccid, curly noodles. Um, you bit through them with like it was like noodles made of butter. They didn't have any bite to them. They didn't have any flavor to them. The noodles from Korea were so much better. You almost you can taste like almost a bit of weediness to them. Uh, the bite was much chewer. There was a, uh, a nice bite through them, where it's like you actually had to make the bite. And uh, they held onto the sauce better. They had a better flavor. They had a better texture to them. Um, these two bowls were were only really the same in name and probably like the specifics of certain things in the spice. Uh, this one also had textured vegetable protein as well. The chunks were a little bit bigger in this one. Um, and I, I think the chunks of the proteins in this one, it was, it was a little bit, since it was bigger, you had more of a bite to it. Where the small ones and the American one kind of just tasted like plain mush. Um, as you can see, I'm taking way more bites of this one than I was for the American version. Uh, that's just because it tasted a lot better. And uh, I hope by, by now you guys know that the... Um, the noodle thing behind me is a blanket that I put over a shelf that's on wheels. Um, it has children's toys on it because I have two young, I have two young boys, and uh, I film this during the day while they're at daycare. So that's when I have the time to do these things. I uh, I really like the shirt that I'm wearing in this video. Uh, it has. Unfortunately, faded over time, and no longer you can no longer read the words on it. But that is Thor, uh, specifically Thor from Avengers Endgame, um, the best Thor, I believe. He uh, on the on the shirt it says that uh, you don't need abs to be worthy, and that's true. The uh, the most worthy Thor there was. He was wielding two hammers at one point. Was the Thor from Endgame. And, uh... Again. Really wish I had at least some even terrible audio of this so I could know what I was saying. I think when I wiped my head I was saying there was... I was talking about the spice. Because usually when there's spice I'll have at least some type of perspiration on the top of my forehead and the back of my neck. But uh, definitely not spicy enough that it never gave me the hiccups. Just uh, a good, a good flavor. Um, let me take some bites of this noodles that I got in front of me. So. The biggest takeaway 
for this video today. Hope you get out of this is that uh, the typical way things happens is that the versions, if, if it's popular overseas and comes to the states, the version that's made in the states is usually not as good. And this is a prime example of that. Uh, if you uh, are from Korea, let me know in the comments if you've had chapaguri. And if you've made it yourself, or if you found these uh, pre-mixed bowls. I think another name they call for it is uh, Ramdan. And usually if it's that, they like, they'll add like some steak or something to it to kind of make it into a fancy-ish meal. A fancy meal that you make out of instant noodles. These, uh, I, I, um, I'm about to comment on what I'm eating right now. It's some leftover meats and cheese from a charcuterie board that I threw into this bowl of ramen. And it also had some pickled cucumbers, not cucumbers, pickled cauliflowers. Oh, here I'm showing the difference between the two noodles. You can tell one's almost translucent compared to the other one. One of them has a more like if you one of it looks like like if you wiped off the the red stuff, there would be nothing there. And the other one looks like there would still be a good noodle behind it. But um, these pickled cauliflowers are really good, and uh, picking up the spice from the ramen that I'm eating right now. I said there was this is definitely better you have the American version you have the Korean version um, they're both limited time editions uh, I think they're no longer being sold so everything that is available is just stock that hasn't been sold yet I think that's for both the American version and the import version which was another reason why it was very upsetting to find out that the audio did not record for this video. I think either a setting was turned off or my microphone wasn't plugged in all the way, but sucks nonetheless. Uh, let's see, I got another minute left. The hardest part about doing the voiceover is, is I have to talk more because if I don't talk, there's just silence happening and there's... <sighs> like that. And you you can't beat the the uh natural instant reaction that I have from here. Hopefully there's some lip readers out there that might be able to tell what I'm saying. Or my facial expressions are just good enough that uh you can tell what my initial reactions were to this product. Um, and also, the American version was just not that good, so I don't want to spend money on it again. Uh, in the future, I might try to do this again, but make my own chapaguri, get a chapaghetti and a niriguri, and, and mix it myself. Um, it might just be one video, maybe two videos, I don't know. And uh, here's me counting down because uh, my other videos, when they ran out of time, they also uh, cut off some bit audio at the end. Um, but anyway, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.